guys, Pachetta Rockstar here. <clears throat> it's fucking cold, so I'm wearing the hat. But I also have sleeves for some reason. I don't know. Just go with it. Uh, playing a game against Vapor X30, and uh, hmm, I got pretty unlucky this game, but there are definitely mistakes made. We can always learn. So, let's take a look at the game. Let's see how it goes. Alright, back to the start. I'm going back to the start. <clears throat> okay, right away. Right away. Right, we go Frontier Runner, Stinger. I think this is fine, but I think some thought should be given to buying Stellar Reef. Stellar Reef can potentially sit out there for a while. It might be difficult for my opponent to get damage, but I think it's worth thinking about. The problem is if you pick up Stellar Reef, he can go Stinger and then he'll have the three damage to kill the Stellar Reef. So the likelihood of it staying out there is not necessarily as high as it normally would be if there just wasn't any damage available. So it's worth thinking about, but I do think Frontier Runner Stinger is the correct play. There's a Pulverizer out there that we're going to want to get, right? The Stinger gives us damage, the Frontier Runner gives us trade. It's a good setup. And I think it's better than getting the Explorer, which only gives us two trade. Granted, the Explorer you can scrap later, but you can scrap the Stellar Reef later too. So... This is the play we decide to go with, though. And my opponent snags Stellar Reef, which is fine, and goes with the Explorer. Um, I think actually getting Customs Frigate would have been the correct play here. Because the Customs Frigate will allow you to get Explorers, right? And it will allow you to get other 4-drops, and you can potentially draw into them. And I think it's a lot more powerful card than a Stellar Reef explorer combo would be so i think this is a little bit of a mistake on my opponent's part however he flips a convoy bot which means i have to get the convoy bot which means he can get customs frigate if he wants to so a little unlucky on my part i mean it's lucky in a sense that i get a scrapper but it's unlucky in a sense that i can no longer get customs frigate which i think is a fantastic card and is vastly underrated so he picks it up ah we'll be fine no big deal um, I end up going with the Reclamation Station. Again, my thought process is, I've got the only Scrappers, so I'm just going to want to Scrap, potentially heal up, because there's Patrol Cutter and Patrol Boat out there, and, um, that's how I'm going to win the game, right? I'm just going to be more efficient. So, so far, so good. I think, I think we're fine. And a Patrol Boat flips, but my opponent decides to get the Patrol Cutter instead. Which is fine. He wants the trade instead of the extra healing and damage. Good decision. Fine with me. Um, and there's two patrol boats out there, so he could definitely pick one up. He's also, again, trying to go for the pulverizer, trying to go for some, you know, high trade card. Oh, mobile market flips. And I end up scrapping the stinger to get the patrol boat. So here's the thing. The stinger is three damage potentially six of a combos with a green i don't have any other greens and he is starting to pick up blues and i don't want him to have two patrol boats if he has two patrol boats that's going to be really bad for us so i end up scrapping again the patrol boat it does more damage it's a little bit healing it's a better card than the stinger it just is so a little unfortunate that we weren't able to pick a mobile market or the pulverizer but Ah, we'll probably, excuse me, we'll probably be able to do it next turn. So, no big deal. Oh, no. And so then my opponent top decks the Customs Frigate, gets the Patrol Boat. Ah, oh, this is this is actually not good. So now he's got two really solid blues. Uh, uh, now, he's got, now he's going damage. Okay, so it's kind of clear what my opponent's doing now, right? He's got enough trade heal to be safe. And now he can just go for damage, right? Now he can be aggro. Now he can, he can control the trade row. He's got a swarmer. He's got a spike pod. You know, he can play heal attack. He green blue. He can play green blue. That's that's what he can do, right? Me on the other hand, I'm going sort of blue red. So that's kind of the plan here. So yeah, we're just gonna pick up more reds. We're gonna pick up more scrap. That's the game, right? We're gonna scrap. We're going to scrap to victory. 
So he picks up Mobile Market. Again, these are... Mm, this is getting bad because he's got several good blues now. He's got plenty of trade. Now he can play a little bit of a damage but econ heal strategy. Kind of a all strategies. Kind of every strategy except scrap. So I hope my scrap strategy is going to win. Like that's the plan. But it's it's going to look like this is game is going to go kind of long. So I need to be a little more careful. Scrapping scouts, picking up the law. That's fine. It's the only thing I can afford. Um, I want to have enough protection to allow my scrap strategy to come through. But the thing is, he doesn't necessarily have a lot of damn. Well, yeah, he does. Yeah. See, there's a lot to worry about. That, that's why this particular strategy that he's employing is really good, because he's given me a lot to think about. There's a lot of things I need to counter. I need to counter his damage. I need to counter his trade. And I need to counter his healing somehow. And hopefully Scrap solves all those problems. I don't know. There's a lot to think about. So. Yep. And then he picks up a Scrapper. Ugh. That's kind of bad. <sighs> Would have loved to have had enough to pick up this Peacekeeper. But seeing as how we don't, we're going to go with the Pulverizer. Which is good. It's a good card. There's some big costed stuff out here. Pulverizer should do me good. Should be able to get me a lot of damage. And then he scraps the two bases. This is fine. He knows that base strategy is potentially something that I'm going to employ along with my scrap strategy. So getting rid of these is good. I would have gotten rid of the Peacekeeper personally just because I think that card is super awesome. But maybe he can afford it. If he can afford it, this is fucking super good for him. No, so he picks up <clears throat> Orbital Platform. That's fine. So his damage output is is good now. It's better than mine. I, I don't feel in danger, per se, but I should be a little more careful, right? And so that's why I pick up the Fighter Base. Because my thing is I can go Fighter Base, Fighter Base, and make him discard two cards, which would really fucking crush a deck like his. So even though... You know, captured outpost is out there. This is my thinking. So that's my plan. I'm gonna scrap down hella hard, and I'm gonna go double fighter base, hella, and then hella like good small damage cards. Whoops, and then I draw bad. Then he gets rid of the hive queen, that's fine. He gets captured outpost, that's good. So notice what he's got now. He's got card draw, he's got damage, he's got trade. He's got healing, and he's got protection. His deck is a lot better than I give it credit for when I first played the game. So yeah, yeah. now I'm picking up damage, picking up a potential other scrapper. This is fine. Five. Ah, six! Ah, god damn it. Oh, no. Now he can heal out of range of my damage. <laughs> and he scraps gate ship. Which I don't think was that good anyway for me. But now look, all of a sudden I'm he's in the 40s and I'm in I'm at 30. And then huh, unfortunately, fucking pulverizer only does three damage. So darn it. Okay. Well, we're still fine, right? We're still fine. And now he gets Falcon, and he draws Falcon, which deals damage. Now he doesn't have to get rid of his Customs Frigate. Ooh. And this heals him up even more. He's back up in the 40s. I'm down to 25. Uh-oh. Like, that doesn't even seem like that consequential of a turn. Look what he's doing. He keeps distancing himself, right? He, he keeps padding his own life total, but whittling me down. It's a smart strategy. Picks up Bioformer. That's fine, right? He's buying bases to keep away from me. He knows I don't have a ton of damage. He knows that I potentially am going base strategy. So, you know, I, I like all the decisions. 
I like what Vaporex is doing, man. He's he's employing a really good strategy to beat my scrap strategy. So, Pulverizer, finally! Good job, dude. Way to get 8 damage in there. Alright, alright. Now we're doing good. Now we're doing good. Okay, we've got a base. We've got some healing. And we kind of draw a little shitty again. No. Ugh, so good! It's so good. Man. I mean, look at these turns, dude. Like, he just... You know, I want to say he's getting lucky, but, I mean, not really. He's just, he just has very good turns over and over and over again, man. Well, just a ton of card draw, a ton of good healing. And, like, he's consistently getting 7, 8, 9, 10 damage a turn. You know, we heal up, and then... Fuck, man. So, like, I bought the Burrower to try to get something better. Because notice, Pulverizer only has 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? I need it to do more damage than this. And the most I can do is 2. Shit. And then I flip a Leviathan, which would have been great for me. And now my opponent gets me down to 5. So I got a shot here, right? I got a shot. I got 5, 6, 11, 15, 17 potential damage, right? So, I just need 8 more damage on 2 card draws. That shouldn't be too hard, right? And I don't do it. I draw 0 damage. So now, instead of being able to shoot the face and kill him on the next turn and hopefully live... Now I have to kill these two bases. Now he may not die. Alright, now he's got 16 health. That's a lot of health. <sighs> and he gets just enough. We fucking had him. We fucking had him. Oh, one turn. One turn. Oh, man. See, it's just... Mm, these are the games that are frustrating. Because, like, just little spots of bad luck. And it's like, we had the scrap. Like, we had the more efficient deck. But he clusters together all his good cards. And we don't. So we lost, you know, but at the same time, I think we didn't pay attention to our life total very much. I think we just kind of assumed the scrap would be there. And even though you're scrapped down and you increase the chances of you drawing well, that doesn't mean you're gonna. So like, you still have to prepare for a much longer drawn out game. And the thing is, he had a lot of healing, but he had a lot more damage than I gave him credit for as well. And... I didn't protect myself. I didn't think about me. I was just thinking about him. So sometimes you can think about your own... You can think about your opponent's deck and try to counter their strategy too much. Right? Sometimes you can you can overthink yourself. Sometimes you just got to make good plays. And you got to look at your life total and say, Okay, it's getting too low. I need to protect myself a little bit more. How can I do that? And I just didn't do it. You know, I did not account for the amount of damage that he had. Peacekeeper is a hell of a card. Customs Frigate is a hell of a card. And, you know, sometimes you don't, you don't see the danger that's right in front of you. And that happened, and I lost. So, hats off to uh, Vapor X30. Not this hat, I'm going to keep that on. Um, but had a really good strategy, you know. I took Scrap away, so he said, fine, I'm just going to take everything else. I'm going to take all the healing, all the trade, all the big cards, all the damage, and I'm just going to pound you until you die before your scrap can actually um you know come about so he was really smart i really like the way vapor x30 played and i really like the way that he just pretty much countered and pretty much neutralized me did he get lucky yeah yeah he did he got a little more lucky than me right but i got lucky in a sense that i got a bunch of scraps so 
you know, I can't really sit here and say I got super unlucky and bad luck was absolutely the reason I lost. The reason I lost is because I wasn't paying attention to the game situation. And I wasn't, like, looking at how far down I was and how much damage I was actually taking. You know, and by the time I realized how bad it was, it was too late. So, you always got to check in with your life total. You always got to check in with what your deck is like and what your opponent is doing. So, yeah. Check in with your friends, too, right? We in a pandemic. They might want to hear from you. Send some love to people out there, okay? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something from me getting my butt kicked. And uh, I'll see y'all later.